Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the first reading at Mass today comes from one of my favorite Old Testament books, the prophet Hosea. In it, God declares that the more he called his people Israel, the more they went in the opposite direction. And what was God's reaction? Anger? Well, not exactly. Just listen to what God says. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger, for I am God and not man. God is angry, but not at his wayward children. Rather, he's angry at sin because he sees how much it hurts his people. God, being God, being love itself, can only feel tender love for his people. His heart is overwhelmed for them, or you could say his heart breaks for them, like a good father whose heart breaks for the pain he sees his children going through because of the bad choices they have made. Years ago, before he became Pope Benedict, Cardinal Ratzinger wrote this, God ought to rebuke Israel's election and abandon it to its enemies, but God's heart turns around. He goes on to say that the word which is translated overwhelmed actually means a total collapse. It appears earlier in the Bible to describe the total collapse of Sodom and Gomorrah. The future Pope then wrote, the same word is applied to the havoc wrought by love in God's heart in favor of his people. Now, here's the question. If you are truly devoted to the sacred heart of Jesus, do you experience the same overwhelming sense of sorrow when you see sin? And do you, like God, hate the sin, but experience a deep heartbreak for the terrible pain that sin causes? If so, then you're developing what will help you overcome temptation, sin aversion.